Hello dear mini painting and tabletop friends. Good to see your smiling faces back in front of the screen. In this video I will be sharing my experiences of attending the 2019 scale model challenge in Eindhoven, the Netherlands. Let's go! So this was the first time that I attended the scale model challenge in the Netherlands and I was together with friends from the mini painting and miniac discord. We drove together in the train and then with a friend from Amsterdam to Eindhoven and attended the con together and that made it really really fun because right away you're together with people that you know digitally and you were hanging out with them and on Saturday evening we all went to eat out together also with Mario and his girlfriend from Bold Miniatures so first of all a big shout out to the people from the mini painting and the miniac discords I will leave a link to the mini painting discord in the description if you want to join it so we arrived bright and early at the con before 10 o'clock and we were already able to get in and that was really cool because in that way I was able to take a stroll around at the convention while a lot of the exhibitors were still setting up. So we met Mario from Bold and then also I was walking around and I met the guys from Frontier Wargaming and from Green Stuff World and a couple of others and it was really good fun to meet people that I've been in touch with digitally before. Then at 10.30 I attended the workshop with Robert Carlson from Sweden. He's better known as Rogland Studio. He's a professional miniature painter and his course was called How to Boost Contrast with the Airbrush. I am in two minds about the course. In the one side I think it was a really really good course for me. I learned a lot of very cool techniques and ideas and how to improve my miniature painting. On the other hand I think the course was called the wrong name because we used the airbrush very very little and for me I saw the airbrush in the name I thought okay I looked at the uh, curriculum of the course and it sounded like we'll be using the airbrush quite a bit. In the end we used the brush a lot more which in itself isn't that bad. We did a couple of exercises with the airbrush which were really really useful and taught me how to handle my airbrush better but I do think that the course should be called something else. I imagine because the sponsor was an airbrush shop that they had to call it something with airbrush in there and that's why it was a little bit of a bummer that you used the airbrush that little. Nevertheless, I think that it was totally worth my time and money to attend that course. And as I said, I did learn a few things that really helped my mini painting. After the course with Robert, I was strolling around on the con and I met again the friends from the Miniac and Mini Painting Discords. And we had a look around together and it was just yeah super cool. It was Saturday after my workshop finished, not that busy at the con so it was very nice to have a look around. Sadly the competition hall where all the entries for the challenge were on display was already closed because the judges were busy with judging so I couldn't take a look at these but I had the next day quite a lot of time as you will see shortly to check it out. But I had a look around, I bought a couple of things and those I also will show you in a bit. On Sunday morning I arrived bright and early at the convention center taking the bus from Eindhoven Center and again I had a look around while the people were setting up their boots. On Sunday morning I had a course with Gerard Boom from Shifting Sands and that's where I was building this styrofoam building. Gerard has developed a couple of tools out of MDF which you can build together yourself and then you can use it with a Proxon hot wire cutter and 
it are very ingenious tools because they allow you to like make round shapes out of styrofoam or like hexagons as we did and like uh, I learned how to cut windows and also fixing mistakes and stuff like that it was a really really cool course because I'm quite a lot into terrain building and it was super cool to see and learn from somebody that is considered the master of styrofoam buildings especially the display pieces that Gerard brought along were amazing to see with the amount of detail that was put into them and they really put commercially available projects at shame. So it was very cool and if you're into terrain building with styrofoam or want to learn about styrofoam then I really recommend to check out a couple of the videos that you can find on YouTube with Gerard Boom. My workshop with Gerard Boom finished quite early. I think it was around one o'clock that we stopped and then I headed straight to the competition hall where my mind was blown away. It really was unbelievable how high the level of the entries were. I've never seen something like this before. There were, I think, over 20 different categories in which you could enter and it was like beginner, medium and master levels. And there were pieces also on display there which I have seen on the internet at Crystal Bush before and it was just absolutely mind boggling to see these live and in the flesh. And also just pieces of other people that are maybe completely unknown and that entered for the first time. It really was absolutely astounding. And if you're interested in just the miniature painting and art aspects of this hobby, then I do think just alone being able to go and see all those pieces at Scale Model Challenge is totally worth it. It really was an amazing experience to see all these pieces. And I will now leave you for a while to enjoy the entries. And if you want to see more and also photos, there's a Flickr album linked in the description where you can see close to 300 videos from the competition. Oh.
I think you agree now after seeing these competition pieces that it was pretty amazing so as I said again earlier if you want to see more of these kind of amazing pieces check out the Flickr album linked in the description and consider attending scale model challenge in 2021 or the world expo next year in 2020so many distributors brands and shops exhibiting at the scale model challenge I couldn't leave without buying anything so over here is my haul my first purchase was actually the Banshee book I found it for 50 euros so a real bargain 
uh, on the uh, con. Uh, usually this book costs 65 euros and I think it is an amazing reference for like painting and getting inspiration and like learning about techniques from one of the best in this niche. So I was really happy that I found this book for such a good price. I probably will review the book in the future on this channel. My next purchase was a small priest at Ragecraft that is a Polish manufacturer of miniatures and they're also going to launch a Kickstarter with a skirmish game which looked really good and that mini was just absolutely beautiful and actually as I was starting to talk with the guys and I said that it reminded me of a protectorate of Manic Priest they told me that actually one of the guys is a sculptor for Privateer Press and then I saw in their leaflet a couple of miniatures that reminded me of the new Infernal Faction so it was really cool to see these and I bought that little priest and I'm really much looking forward to building and painting it for my Manit army. Then I walked around and very quickly found Blacksmith Miniatures and they're a small company out of France where I bought this Frog Rider and Mushrooms. I just absolutely adored those two sets and that Frog Rider with the Goblin on top of the frog. It just looked so fun and I think it is really something where I want to use more time and a piece where I want to try new things in the future. And the final piece of my haul are those three Chimera colors. Um, they're quite new, they had a Kickstarter I think last year or early this year and they were also at the con and at the Rockland workshop with Robert. He told us how he uses the three primary colors, blue, yellow and red and often uses these to mix them in into other colors to like push for shadows or highlights or mixes colors with them and he recommended these colors and as they were a little bit of a bargain over there for five euros for one color I decided to pick these three up and try the techniques I learned with Robert here at home with these three primary colors. Now the final piece actually over here is a miniature we got at the workshop with Robert that is an Aridana miniature and it was a very nice sculpt and it was also super clean and um, I'm really looking forward on finishing that piece also at some point in the future. So that was my haul. I also as I mentioned earlier I met the guys from Frontier Wargaming where I picked up this wonderful painting case. I will do an extra video on that so if you're interested in having a very compact all-in-one solution for painting at home or on the road subscribe to the channel and stay tuned because soon a video about this painting case is coming. Well that was my long story short of the scale model challenge 2019. I really had an amazing time also because of the people I was there with and also like just the whole atmosphere. It was a very positive place. You had a lot of very beautiful entries in the scale model challenge competition and they gave me so much inspiration for my own projects. Then the two workshops I attended, the one with Robert Carlson for painting, that was really amazing and taught me a lot. And also the workshop with Gerard Boom for the uh, styrofoam workshop of terrain building was super cool and I'm looking forward to finishing my piece over here in the future and I really really can recommend attending it. So next year there's not going to be a scale model challenge because there's going to be the World Expo in the same location in Eindhoven, the Netherlands. It's going to be in July and I'm pretty sure that I will try to attend simply because I had such a good experience this year and then in 2021 scale model challenge will be back in the autumn I think it's again going to be in October. Well as always if you enjoyed this video then leave a thumbs up as it really makes a difference. Subscribe if you want to see more miniature painting and tabletop game content from me and as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.